Welcome to ADAS Amy. Today in the shop we have a 2019 Hyundai Palisade, which is one of the latest SUVs from Hyundai. Absolutely a beautiful car. What we're going to concentrate today is on all this electronics. Everywhere you look, it is just loaded with computer systems. These are not separate systems. Just look at anywhere in the car. Look at this panel. We got the park, reverse, neutral, the transmission, the auto hold and electric brakes, power electric seats. We got the transmission. We got parking sensors. The exterior is beautiful. I mean, just looking at it, it's stunning. But what's really going on is behind the scenes. Just by me pushing this button, a million messages have just been transmitted through the car. It verified the security coding on the key. It activated the ignition. It turned down all these modules and the blink of an eye, everything comes to life. This doesn't happen by accident. There's so much programming. There's so many modules. On top of all that is the diagnostic where the software is written to communicate and detect codes and live data. Today's video is going to be simply about the blind spots because this beautiful car with all the crash prevention had a mishap with a rear end collision. But look how quickly, when I was a kid, there was large books, giant volumes, and there was always amendments. Today, with the touch of your finger on a tablet, I can go directly to what I wanna see, rear end collision, blind spots. I can look up specifications on stuff that just wasn't available. The technology is just amazing. And these are not hand, drawn cartoon pictures these are live digital photos with such detail look at the instructions it took me less than 30 seconds to find the specifications and of this blind spot sensor in the rear of the car in a minute i'm going to show you why but remember the number 54 horizontal and 87 vertical the reason i'm looking this up on this vehicle is yes, this beautiful vehicle was smashed right there. You can see the left tail light is still cracked. The body shop has not done any work, but before they proceed, they sent the car to the shop to simply take a measurement because looking at this, it looks really good. You can't tell anything and maybe it is good, but the only way to really know is to set up some measurements and know if this angle of this blind spot sensor which is now also cross traffic. And in addition to that, so the first measurement I did, we got 51 degree. Remember the service manual said 54 degrees. So there's already an issue there. We're using the straight line of the vehicle to measure. We're gonna measure now the right side and compare it to the left side. What's really stunning about this electronics is that it's constantly evolving. These blind spot sensors were just blind spot and cross traffic. Now they also added an alert. If anybody opens a door and is an oncoming car, even if the engine is off, it will alert you, do not open the door because a car is coming down your lane. It, this is all done by software. There was no physical hardware change. They just added one more feature. Now we're gonna take a vertical measurement to also measure the vertical. Remember that the book said it's supposed to be at 57. Now, on this particular vehicle, I'm taking the measurements right onto the radar sensor. But because of this design that it's all oval and it really doesn't have any flat surfaces, I'm gonna log my first measurements. But the really way to get an accurate measurement on these vehicles is to remove the blind spot sensor and actually measure the brackets itself. And watch what happens and how the numbers drastically change when you get an accurate reading. The Hyundai, Kia tab, the Hyundai Kia service manual measuring system clamps onto the radar, so you're never going to get the same measurement twice. That's why I'm using ADAS aiming measuring system, and I had to tweak it. From the 51.7, I had to move it all the way to 54. So it looked, took a little bit of tweaking to get it into shape. But the electronics is just amazing. You have to learn how to look at a vehicle as one complete system. You can't shift the car into reverse drive neutral unless it gets a signal from the brake switch. It has to get a signal from the door that the door is closed. 
It has to get a signal from the battery voltages that it's proper. It's not going to use, depending what type of battery it's going to use, it's going to use the regular battery or the start battery. There's so much electronics, there's so much lines of coding in every computer, and the vehicle is an entire computer as a whole working together. The idea here is 87, so this one is perfect on the right side where it's never touched. Over here, the vertical reading is 85. Now that's too much for tolerance, so we're going to have to tweak not only the horizontal to get it to the 54 degrees, 86.9, yeah, that's almost 87. The vehicle looks beautiful on the outside, but what's really exciting is all the electronics, all the software, millions of lines of coding, and it all works as one system. When you push the button and you light this up, literally millions. I wish I would have more time to get into more detail. On this vehicle, the rear bumper is not even on the vehicle. The body shop just wanted us to verify the angles and make sure before they go any further, before they change the bumper cover, before they paint it, to make sure that it's perfect shape. We can't go any further right now because the actual wiring in the bumper connects the blind spot. So they're not even communicating. So once the car is done, they'll bring it back to us and we could do a quick calibration rerun. Thank you for watching ADOS Aiming by Jack Short. How we use factory tools and targets to restore vehicles to its original condition.